My name is Miriam Hauser. I'm a senior. I'm here representing the SMART team. The SMART team is the Sexual Misconduct Advisory Resource Team. We are a group of students led by Beth Katarski out of the Dean's Office who deal with issues of sexual misconduct, sexual assault, sexual harassment on campus. We run a 24-hour uh, 7 hotline to talk to students who need to reach out to us. We've been organizing consent workshops this year. Um, and we've been talking a lot recently about how we can work to make this school a safer and more supportive space for students, um, especially in light of all the recent events, the filings of the Cleary and Title IX complaints, uh, what can we do to make this administration be allies to the students' concerns instead of setting themselves up, or at least seeming to set themselves up in opposition to the students' concerns. Um, so we would like to see, among other things, increased sensitivity training for members of the administration, but we'd also like to pressure, um, to put pressure to extend that to all members of the faculty. Uh, currently, this past year, sensitivity training has started to be given to administration members. Um, it clearly, it, I don't think it's been enough, but the problem is that that hasn't been applied to faculty members yet either. Um, and often faculty members, because of their privileged relationships and of power to the students, are, are, can be very damaging to their students. So we would really like to work to make, to help the faculty and the administration and all members of the staff understand what is appropriate when you're talking to a student, how is it appropriate to behave to a student, what is legal, what is illegal. Also, right now, I think a lot of students who feel when they're coming forth, when they're trying to report the crimes, the felonies that have been committed against themselves, they see, they see the administration as, as people who aren't allied with them. They, they see the administration as people who are allied only with preserving the college's dignity, the college's image, at the cost of um, you know, these students' emotional health. And so to that end, we would like to propose the creation of a victim advocacy office at Swarthmore, one that would be working specifically with survivors and not against them. Thank you.